And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! Spoilers, spoilers, there's spoilers in this review. There's this pirate named Jack Sparrow, and even though he wears eyeliner as drunk as hell and he can't understand a word he's saying, he's the sexiest pirate ever! And apparently no one can recognize him. That is, he sneaks in as a judge in a courtroom, and everybody's like, what is the verdict of the judge with the eyeliner, golden teeth, and incredible tan? Not guilty. <gasps> now if you excuse me, I have to talk to my teeth some more. But it turns out Jack Sparrow gets captured, and he comes across Captain Mimosa! And Jack Sparrow is like, you know, we betrayed each other a million times in these movies. I know, I kind of forget. Are we good or evil? Well, we are working for Disney. That'd be evil. But Jack Sparrow escapes and goes looking for the Fountain of Youth! But luckily, he has the help of his father, Keith Richards! Hello, I'm Keith Richards. Bye. But then Jack finds out that somebody is posing as him! So Jack goes to find out who's been posing as him, and it turns out it's his old girlfriend! What a twist! What a... Totally non-making sense twist! Really? Nobody could figure out that a woman isn't Jack Sparrow? I thought people only fell for that in Monty Python movies! Are there any women here today? <laughs> so Sparrow's girlfriend knocks him out and takes him aboard the boat of Blackbeard! Blackbeard's big bad bitchin' boat! Barbecue! And it turns out Blackbeard is played by that guy from Deadwood! Alright, you... <laughs> and it turns out Blackbeard has telepathic powers over his ship! Why? I'm Johnny Depp. But it turns out Jack Sparrow's girlfriend has a secret little secret! I'm Blackbeard's daughter! No. Yes. Yes. No. 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 Yes. I'm Johnny Depp. So it turns out Blackbeard is also looking for the Fountain of Youth so that he won't die! There be a f***ing prophecy saying that I'm gonna die someday. So that's why me and my zombified crew are looking for the Fountain of Youth. Your zombified crew? Yes. Why'd you turn them into zombies? So they won't die. Well, why don't you turn yourself into a zombie? I'm Johnny Depp. But it turns out the prophecy says the person who's gonna kill him is Mimosa! Because Blackbeard put his ship in a bottle! I put a ship in a bottle once! Actually, no, I didn't. But I can say Toybo three times fast! Toybo three times fast! Hehe, <laughs> just kidding, I really can though. Toybo, Toybo, Toybo! Try it, it's hard, it's like the only talent I have. So it turns out in order for the Fountain of Youth to work, they need the tear of a mermaid! Oh, well, that shouldn't be too hard. After all, mermaids are such soft, delicate creatures that only. <laughs> ah! Holy crap, these mermaids are like werewolves! A mermaid! A werewolf! Just wait and see. One day I'll be eating your flesh. <laughs> but it turns out they do capture one of the mermaids, and the only person who wants to be nice to her is the clergyman. Yeah, there's a clergyman on Blackbeard's boat! So I guess if he says he's religious, that makes all the evil things he does okay. It's like the SS Fox News. So the clergyman is really nice to her and even helps her walk on land? Wait a minute. How can mermaids walk on land? Well, you see, all a mermaid has to do is step on land, and then all of a sudden she grows human legs. I wonder if Ariel knew that. Hey, sorry, little mermaid. It turns out you didn't have to give me your tongue after all. <laughs> you know you look like Cherry Stoner. So they finally get to the Fountain of Youth, but it turns out the Spaniards get there at the same time. And they're like, this place is an abomination to God. Tear it down. Well, don't you want to try it to see if it works? Are you telling me that our perception of God in the 17th century is not open or adaptive? Yes. You're right. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. But Jack Sparrow manages to get a little bit of the Fountain of Youth in these two cups. One cup will give you eternal life. The false cup will take it from you. That sounds familiar. Where have you heard that before? Oh, yeah. Pokemon! So Blackbeard thinks he's saving himself to kill his daughter, when really he's killing himself to save his daughter. Haha, this will save me. <laughs> and Jack Sparrow's girlfriend is like, he was a good man, even though he's killed hundreds of people and tried to kill his daughter as well. Bitch, you crazy. I'm gonna leave you on this island. What? I thought you loved me! I do, with all my heart. Then why are you leaving me here? I'm, I'm Johnny Depp. Depp. So after Mimosa kills Blackbeard, he takes charge of his boat. Jack Sparrow gets the Black Pearl back. The really nice mermaid drowns the clergyman. Thanks. And the girlfriend is unjustifiably screwed. Yo ho, yo ho, this story makes no sense. Hooray! But of course, this is all just built up for Pirates of the Caribbean 5. It's under two hours. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It'll never be under two hours. It's the Lords of Arabia of Johnny Depp non making sense movies. Right after Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This is just a bum saying, Change! You got change! Oh, come on, hit the guy out, will ya? Come on, change! Come on, I'll teach you how to say Toy Boat three times fast! The trick is to not say it wrong. 